Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite drills. It's going to help you get from the baseline up to that non-volley zone. It's going to help with your third shot and also just that tough transition from the back of the court to the kitchen line so that you can control the point. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoy. All right, here it is. This is my most favorite drill of all time and in my opinion is the best doubles drill that you can use to improve your game. Um, I call it half court singles. Others have called it skinny singles. Um, you could play this game straight on like we are now or you could play it cross court. So serving from um, even side to even side or odd side to odd side. Um, it really is the best drill because it goes through every shot that you need to improve your game. So as you can see in this clip, I just served it. My friend there returned it deep and it forces me to hit that third shot. Uh, it works on my transition from the baseline to the non-volley zone. And now I can make my way to the net and here we are in a dink rally. And uh, yeah, it works on every single shot that you need to be successful as a doubles player. Um, this is the best game. You, you can score it just regular uh, 211 with side outs. And yeah, it keeps that intensity up. And it also will work on your accuracy because you are hitting to a small area uh, on one half of the court. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these next few points. And uh, after that, I will be giving you three ways to um, transition from the baseline to the non volley zone. Hope you guys enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of those points we played out and right now I'm going to go over three general ways that you can use to transition from the baseline to the non-volley zone. And in this first example, um, you are just going to work your way in. You're going to hit your third shot and you're going to split step and maybe even hit a fifth, seventh and ninth shot. As you can see, I hit my third shot, split step, hit a fifth, hit a seventh until I'm in the kitchen at the non-volley zone to control the point. So uh, that is the first example. All right, so here's the second method that you can use to make it from the baseline to the non-volley zone. And in this sequence, I will hit a third shot and I will rush all the way to the non-volley zone before my opponent hits the ball. All right, here's the third and final method that you can use to transition from the baseline to the non-volley zone. In this sequence, I drive the ball right at the opponent, hopefully to cause a short ball, which would make an easy kitchen ball for me to hit into the kitchen so that I could be at the non-volley zone. And in this method, it can also cause falling errors from the opponent, which is another plus. So watch these next couple of clips and check it out.
there it is guys and that is the half port singles drill it is really the best drill that you can use to improve your doubles game um, get out there and practice and uh, also practice those three transitions uh, that you can use to advance from the baseline to the kitchen um, those aren't the only three ways but those are three ways I like to use to get up to the non-volley zone so um, thank you guys so much for watching and um, like and comment and subscribe if you have any questions uh, just comment below or uh, email me however you want to contact me thanks for watching and Get out there and practice your game. Thanks for watching.